Hi there, Arif here from A7 Sports and today we'll be looking at creating of cricket bets. So the biggest Willow merchant in the world, J.S. Wright, creates their Willow as follows. Grade 1 English Willow would have a minimum of 6 grains, which will have a clean front and back. Grade 2 bets, which would have a minimum of 6 grains as well, but will have a little bit of marking in the face or in the back. Grade 3 bets would have a minimum of 5 grains with a little bit of wobble on the grain and grade 4 bets would have a minimum of 4 grains. So each cricket uh, bat manufacturer would then further have their own grading structure. The reason why they have their own grading structure is to help them make a consistent product right throughout. So we have taken a few examples of various willow from the very top end all the way to the entry level English willow that we keep just to highlight the differences between them. So we'll start with the very top end cricket bed that we currently have in stock. As, as you can see, it's got beautiful straight evenly spaced cranes. So the very top end from SF, just under the reserve edition cricket beds. And they are blemish free front and back. Right. So another limited edition cricket bed, this one from SS. This is the highest model in the SS master range. And again, you can see, blemish free. It might have some color. But again, quite clean at the back. Another player bed from SF. Just nice, beautiful, clean wallow. So as I said, each company would grade their beds differently. So here's a grey nickel that came in for a refurb. It's a player's grade as well. You can actually see the grains really nice, evenly spaced. But you can see the amount of hardwood on the left end is outside edge. Quite a big chunk of hardwood. Right. So that's your top end willow, generally blemish free. So now we'll go down to the grade two pieces of willow. So we'll start with this SS which has about eight grains on it, nice evenly spaced again. So this one, according to me, shouldn't be a grade two. This should be at least a grade one because it is really clean. This is another grade two, also quite a clean piece of willow. It's got some hardwood on the left end, this outside edge. And again, blemish free. This particular piece has got about 8 grains on it as well. You can actually see it's just got a bit of a marking on the face. The, the, but I mean these marks won't really perfect performance. It's just an aesthetics. And again, quite clean. So it will be your grade 2 pets. Again, minimum of 6 grains with some marking. Uh, you get grade 3 pets again. Now this one here, 5 evenly spaced grains. So it's a little bit more, more marks on the lower end cricket bats. Um, that's grade 3. You do, you do also get a, a hand selected grade 3, which is represented by this vintage 4.0. About 7 grains, quite clean. This could easily be a grade 2 cricket bat. But SS grades this as a hand selected grade 3. Then we go down to grade 4s, so I'll show you two cricket beds, both of them are grade 4s, but this one is a higher spec grade 4, it's just got a bit of a blemish there, but very clean at the back. Also another grade 4, but you can actually see it's just got a little bit more marks on the face. And the back's also got a little bit more marks on it. And then we'll go to grade 5 cricket bats. So grade 5. This one's just got a bit more colour on it. On the right hand side of the cricket bat. 
as well as the back. And even though this is a grade five, there's also differences uh, within, within the grade. So that one had about six grains. There's this grade five piece of willow, which is four grains, but more evenly spaced and a little bit more cleaner than the six grain bed. It's also clean at the back. And then we come to the lowest grade of English willow that we keep. This is a grade six. This is eight grains. Um, it's got a bit marks there and there on the bat. But I mean, these marks won't perfect performance of your cricket bat. And there's, and there's this one here. You can actually see it's got more marks on it. The marking is just imperfections in the wood while it's growing. And there's another grade, I mean, these bits are really awesome from SF. SF just grades this as a mid-range English willow, but I counted 10 grains on that nice evenly spaced grains. Really, really nice looking, as well as really good profile. And this one is about nine grains on it again, nice and clean. But again, really nice profiles. So that's with regards to cricket bed grading. As you can see, it's purely based on the aesthetics of the particular piece of willow. Under no circumstance is it a true test of performance, as each piece should be looked at individually.